Good evening everybody, I am here to show you exactly how to install the co-op mod for GTA 5. This mod will allow you to be able to play pe with other players in story mode. Even if you are banned, it does not matter, and because it's not using Rockstar servers, there's no chance of you getting banned from it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit your Windows key. You're going to want to type in About. And then go to About Your PC. When you pull that up, you're going to want to go to your system information, which is our system type, which is right here, and see if you have the 64-bit operating system. If you have the 32, you can still download it. It's just going to be slightly different. Now, first you're going to want to go to this website here, and if you scroll down just a little bit, you will see a pin from the moderator that says it's no longer maintained and outdated, so you're going to want to click on that link, and it should pull up this, which is 9.3.4 or whatever the current one is. At the moment of this video, this is the most recent one. Then you are also going to want to go to scripthookv.net. You're going to want to click download. And then you're going to want to click on the download or the zip file here and download it. And it should appear on your window thingy at the bottom over here once completed, like so. Then you're going to want to go to this website here. You're going to want to go down to this download button, which then will download that file down there. Then you're also going to want to download this file here, which is your co-op mod which will pull up this file here. You want to download both the client and the Windows servers. Download both of them. Yes. So you want to download that, and then you want to click on the Windows server, which will then pull up this Windows release.zip. And then you will hit download. Then you press download here, and then it will download the win release. If you do not have win roar, you also want to download that um, in order to open these. But anyway, so once you open them, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this client folder. You're going to want to copy everything in here and extract it. In your Windows Explorer, you need to have made two files typed in just like this, scripts and GTA 5 server. If you open up your, oop, so you will copy all of those or extract all those files into the script folder. Next, you're going to want to go into the GTA 5 server folder. Now to get everything for this one, you're going to open up your when release zip file. You're going to go down through all of the files that are in there. Highlight every single one of those and then you're going to extract those into here. and then hit the replace files in the destination. I, of course, am going to skip it because I've already done that. Next, you're going to want to go back to your Grand Theft Auto 5. You're going to want to go once again to your web browser. You're going to open up your script hook V Go into bin, copy all three of those files, and extract them directly into this folder. And then replace them if you haven't done that already. I'm going to, of course, skip it because I already have them. 
Then you're going to want to do the same thing with the dot net. You're going to want to copy everything short of the top two, which is README and License. You're going to extract all of those. And drop those there. Now, once you have done all of those steps and all four of those are in there, then what you're next going to want to do is close out of all this stuff because that's already all done with. And then you're going to want to fire up your GTA 5 and go into story mode. which I'm going to pause the video at this point and fast travel to the completion point because it does take a little bit to load. Okay, then you're going to want to go into your story mode. All right, so now, once your game is actually loaded up, you're going to want to press your F9 key and it should pop up the GTA 5, well, the GTA co-op menu. Then what you're going to want to do is go down to server browser. Actually, correction, sorry. The first step you're going to want to do is go down to your client settings. Your display name you want to change to your gamer tag. Do not use the one that's in there because it will boot you every time. So like mine, of course, is S-312Gaming. After you change it to your display name, then you're going to want to go to Server Browser and you can join one of these other servers here. And then it should say Connecting. Oh, you have been disconnected. Wrong password. All right, let me pull it back up. Uh, all right, so. There we go. This one has people in it, so I'm going to go to that one. It says connecting, connection successful, player connected. Now if you pull up your map, you should be able to see other players playing the game. That's all there is to it. Please enjoy, have a good day. And thank you for watching our video.